Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back to back again with celebrating victories. And today's video, what I want to do, I just want to make a quick video um, to show you guys exactly how to change and put in uh, receipt paper into your ATM. It's very, very simple, something everybody should do. But before I get started, what I want to ask you guys right now, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. I really appreciate all the love and support. Leave a comment if you got questions or if you have a suggestion on what I should make a video on. Also hit the like button if you found this or any other video helpful. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Okay, so let's dive right into it. I'll show you guys right now. All right, uh, so I'm gonna open this up. All right, so you guys see there's plenty of paper in here. It really doesn't need to be changed, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, how to do it, and all that stuff, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna simply open up your ATM just like this, and if you have to like put new paper in because you just got your ATM, it's gonna look very similar to that. If you are running low, Obviously, it's going to be a lot lower, and you're just going to, um, what do you call it, replace it, all right? So this right here, this is where your um, money, your paper is going to slide through, all right? Very important, all right? And when you get your brand new ATM, this is going to be taped off. So you're going to see tape that comes like from here. I mean, ideally, mine was, all mine were, so, um, but to, I guess that's probably typical, I imagine. Um, so you're going to remove the tape and you're just going to kind of like grab the tape, go, go around and then rip it to the other side or vice versa. Okay. Yeah. You're going to take the tape off. You don't have to open it. Um, if you feel like you, you need to, if you want to just kind of clip it open, um, you can, not a big deal, but when you're actually putting the paper in, in this case, I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to, um, put it down that way I can show you guys what I'm trying to do. But um, <clears throat> if you're trying to take paper out, then yeah, you'll you'll um, actually like put that down and then slide the paper out. All right, so that's important. Okay, so let me take this off. All right, and I'm gonna hopefully I can show you guys. I'm doing this by myself uh, with one hand, so hopefully you guys can see. All right, so what I want you to got what I want you guys to notice. You see how the paper goes around the two metal pins, okay? And then when it goes around. I'm going to slide it back up. So pretty much you're going to pin, pinch these two pins together, if that makes sense. Those two pins are going to be pinched together, okay? And I'm going to dem demonstrate what I'm talking about. Um, and there's actually a description on what you're going to be doing right here, all right? You always want to make sure that the paper is coming this way, all right? You never want the paper to go like that. You always want to come from the back, slide it behind those two pins right there and then run it up and then into these little slots all right there's two little slots right there you'll run that through and when you run it through this will be closed all right so what i mean by closed is right there it's open yeah. right there it's closed or right there it's closed yeah and then you're going to run your paper through you're going to push it through and then it's going to come out from here all right so i'm going to show you this little black piece is gonna come right here. Let me see if I can show you guys, hold on. This little black piece right here, where are we? Okay, this is gonna come in the box where the paper receipt comes. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're just gonna put this in the middle. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys. Again, bear with me, I'm trying to do this with one hand. All right, so you're gonna slide it right through there, push it through, boom. All right, when you push it through, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna drop it down I'm into these little notches right there. All right, so there's a notch on the other side too. All right, so when you put this on, just make sure that your paper can rotate easily. All right, it shouldn't be hard to rotate it, okay? So you put that in just like that. Again, the paper is always gonna go this way. It's gonna, you're making like a, I guess that's an S, right? No, you're not reverse S, I don't know. Either way, you're coming this way, boom, like that. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull this excess paper out that way I can show you guys all right so I'm gonna pull that and I'm gonna rip it all right so when you slide it through I swear guys it is super easy to put paper in I'm just making it real difficult because I'm trying to do this recording with one hand all right so you stuck stick it under all the way to the back. All 
Okay, right there, all the way through the back, and then you're gonna go under here, keep running it through. You're gonna go under these two metal pins, boom, boom. Slide it up, okay, and then you're gonna pinch it through here. And you wanna make sure you guys have like a clean cut right here. That's a mess of a cut, so you wanna make sure you have a clean cut. So I'm gonna just slice this up. off. Okay. And I'm gonna slide it through these two, these two notches. One, two. Okay, they fit right in there perfectly. All right, and then you push it through. Boom, and when it pushes it through, it's gonna come out automatically. It's gonna say, test printing, okay. All right, if you get that, you know your thing's okay. Um, sometimes it might come out like this or the other way. Um, just be mindful that sometimes you just have to adjust this, okay? And just stick your fingers in here. You're not gonna break anything. Play with these little um, these little roller things. You'll be able to kind of like move it back and forth a little bit. And that worked for me. That happened multiple times. So some of my ATMs, I just messed with it a little bit and it got working. All right, so that's exactly how you change the paper in your new ATM or an old one. And I'm sure, pretty sure if you have an old one or if you have one already, you probably know this process, really basic. But I think it's important for everyone to know and understand. Um, if you have questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. I apologize for the comment or for the quality of the video. Again, I'm doing this by myself with one hand. It's pretty difficult to do, all right? Um, but as always, I'll talk to you guys in another video.